Hi guys, that's me. And this is a video on how I transport and store my minis. So there's a bit of a competition on the moment uh, at uh, thewarmaster.com. Uh, it's a great forum set up by Fritz, uh, really friendly. Not much um, flaming going on like you see on most forums, but I'll put a, uh, a link in the in the description to it. So head over there and take a look. Uh, and this basically is, he's asked us to show, so uh, we can all learn from each other, how we transport our minis. So this is basically how I, how I do mine. So as you can see, it's a KR multi-case system, so there's two of them. Uh, absolutely in love with this system. I, mean, I can't get enough of it. It just it does everything I need it to do. So whether it's custom trays or whether it's the pick and sorry pick and pluck trays, where I can customise them myself. Um, but I'll I'll start off by just showing you what the case is really. So as I've seen in one of my if you might have seen in one of my old videos, I'll put a link over there. Um, well, I've basically explained how to how the trays work. So how the numbering works, the codes for each tray. For example, this one here. Um, is uh, one that fits 20 just normally this one here was a slightly different case so it fits 20 the same uh, tray so it fits 20 the same as the other one but it's actually instead of being a quarter depth like this one is here this one is actually a third depth so what I can do is I can fit in the same case I can fit on the one half denominations of thirds and on the other half denominations of halves and quarters so, for example, I've got a quarter there for 20 troops, and then underneath it, there's another quarter there for 20 troops, and then I've got a half, half depth pick and pluck. So at the moment, there's just one raider in there. A space for another one on this side, and then space for a couple more reavers down the end here, or I can have two venoms there as well. So on this side, we've got the third, which I use for the bigger models I've got such as the Talos Pain engines, that have, well, part of the Talos Pain engines, as you can see there. And then jet bikes as well, so the jet bikes wouldn't actually fit into, uh, into a quarter, so I had to go a third for that. Now the other great part of picking the thirds on this side is I could go for a two-thirds deep tray here on this side. And the main reason for that, pure and simple, is so I can fit this bad boy in. So. That's that bad boy. And that fits nice and snug. As long as you elevate the nose, as you can see there, I put some foam underneath it. As long as you elevate the nose, this uh, tail spike here stays flush and you don't have to worry. Second case, I've got some markers, a, uh, a turn sheet, which reminds me of what to do on each turn in the game. Uh, I've got a tray here which has all of. Oh, fell, <laughs> stuck to the underside, that happens sometimes. I've got a tray here, we've got some objective markers, we've got some pain token markers, I've got a unit of racks, and then the guys that that's, that come on the Venom, and also the magnetized guys that go on the front of the, uh, basically the, the vehicle crews I keep in this one here, along with some objective markers and some racks. Nice and simple. And I've got a tray of 19 witches on the other side. And then underneath that, we've got a tray. It's what I call my HQ tray. So I've got some incubi down here, which are quite tricky to uh, to store. And I've actually cut small bits out here where the where their swords go. I've got uh, homunculus, 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 and my Duke model. Two Archon models, and then another load of incubi at the top there. Underneath them, I have. Let's just go into four. I have a load more witches, as you can see there. I mean, you can just fit so much in these. They're absolutely fantastic. The, the storage just goes on and on and on. And here you can see a prime example of why I love them. So what I've been able to fit in here, if I take all these bases out, to give you a a better view is three ravagers, sorry, well one of them's a ravager but they can also be raiders because of how I've magnetized them. So we've got three raiders, we've got two venoms and a load of jet bikes. Which you can see there. 
again, magnetized bases. Makes everything very simple. And and that's it. I hope uh, someone's learned something from this. Uh, it's it's a lot of fun picking and plucking all these spaces here and trying to make the most of it. Because of course, in in half one half of this, I can either put two ra raiders or ravagers or or four venoms or as you can see here, a mixture of of the both. And it, it works really really well. There's a couple of turrets down here for the for the ravager. Let's bring that up. You can see fits nicely in there and then you just have to lie your uh, your sails on the top nice and simple right well let me know what you think uh, very eager to see all the rest of the entries into that competition see what everyone else comes up with and uh, and that's it really stay well guys and I'll see you in the next one cheers